Welcome to Tectonica, my name is Nilaus and this is a showcase of this brand new game that just entered early alpha access on Steam. The very short description of this game is that it is a it's basically satisfactory underground, but the factory style is more of a factorial style than it is a satisfactory style. On top of that, there is a sense of mystery and discovery more akin to maybe Subnautica in terms of sort of figuring out what has happened. Now, since this game is an early alpha, then there are probably many things that are unfinished and incomplete and also subject to change as well as the game develops. And uh, this is, of course, also a small indie game, so uh, we should uh, keep our expectations to what is realistic and really appreciate what is being developed here and be part of that development process. Now, if you're interested in this game and would like to see me do more of this showcase, then you know the drill. Liking, sharing, subscribing, it all makes a huge difference. Not only to the almighty YouTube algorithm, but also to me to sort of gauge whether there is an interest. If I see that there is greater than normal amount of engagement on a video, then that is also what encourages me to move on and make more. And if I see it's meh, then well, I'll probably abandon it and focus on other things. So I hope you want to support this journey. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the ride. Let's dive into a new game. All right, here we are. We are in the game. So uh, as we just look around, we, we're basically sort of waking up in this facility and have no memory of how we got here. Uh, we can gather some stuff. This is very much akin to Factorio, where, uh, Satisfactory, where we just start gathering some biomass. Uh, then we can go over here, find some random stuff in here, pick out, pick it up into our inventory, and then we can see if we can get out of the door. So we can produce a crank generator, and uh, we see over to the lower left, lower right hand corner that there is a production, and now it sort of comes up, so we can, uh, so we can build it, our first little thing, and then we just inspect it, activate. This seems extremely basic, but I think it's just to introduce us uh, as we progress through this area. This is basically how we get introduced to various mechanics as well. And then I'm going to put that up here. I can't get a read on your voice or ID signal, but I'm going to assume you work for me. We wouldn't get much done if we tried it the other way around. Let's go. Let's go indeed. Right, so here we basically just get to see some of the basics of how things are working. This is just for illustra illustrative purposes as we get into out of the tutorial area and into where we can actually start working. I wonder how we if we could actually get to this location at some point. Oh well, we'll see. Oh. And I'm going to put that up here. And Bravo Delta One. There we go. The amount of time you spend on this job talking to doors, I swear. So we uh, start by using our pickaxe. I think this is a nice way of making sure that we actually get a pickaxe and just learn the absolute the mechanics of you can actually terraform in this game. Uh, and then we come out into a big cave. Your first priority is to inspect that production terminal and start building a factory. Until we hear otherwise, the job is the job. The job is the job. <clears throat> upgrades provide tech to help build factories, and factories produce the goods required to upgrade the terminals. One hand washes the other. Upgrading the terminal should also help us fix the radio on it. Maybe we can get a distress call out. All right, so quite uh, simple and uh, actually a really neat idea. So we have a terminal here and uh, that will function pretty much like uh, like the space elevator in Satisfactory that you need to bring materials in to get an upgrade which you can unlock. But you also find recipes out into the world as well. But the first thing, let's see. Uh, this one says missing resources. We need 100 iron ore and 100 copper ore as well. This terminal is cooked. Mining drills were the only buildable tech I could recover. Try digging out enough ore with your pickaxe to craft one. Once you've got a few drills going, 
You should be able to dump enough ore into this thing to see if self-repair can do the rest. I put it together in the first place, so the least I can do is be optimistic. Excellent. Also, this is a data course. They are basically uh, enabling science so uh, our technology as we get to that so we got a mining drill that is the first and only thing we have uh, that we can make so we go into tab and start our production we produce two of these mining drills uh should be open yeah and we are now producing it and then we'll be setting it here uh, basically you can see i have two hotbars one is the f keys and one is the number keys pretty neat I'm going to put the equipment and such on toolbar one, uh, the F keys, and then the uh, stuff I want to build at the other at the other part. So uh, here, when it comes to here, uh, we are going to set it um, all the way in there. That one. And I don't have any more mining drills. So it needs to be fueled, and then uh, it starts cranking away in there. And then we have a second one as well. And, oops, and you can get that part. Now, there's a really cool way of uh, extracting things. Fuel the miner and mine five materials. Got that. We have sort of small tips and tricks up here. If you hold E, then you can actually do a little drag and then press E again. Then you can actually pick up from an area pretty easily. I like that. That's a really cool idea. Uh, we're going to need to make more mining drills in order for that. We need mechanical components and they need some copper. So we need to go over and find some copper location. There is a copper vein right here that we can get. Also, we need to make sure we get a lot more of the plant based materials so we can mine stuff here. There we go. That should be fine. And I will, I can't do the mining drill yet because I don't have it. I think I just need four of these here. And then I should be able to make one of these. And might as well just chop a few more in the meantime while waiting for that to be completed. Uh, while we wait for that to complete, we are going to just get some of this here. Uh, run around, get some materials. And you can see there are some... Uh, different locations this one here it seems to be a location that could very well be chopped down and maybe there's something interesting behind right now we can't chop through like solid things maybe later but right now we can chop through some dirt and there's some dirt here so let's see if there's anything behind it still does that thing with that Icarus also does with like things hovering look at that we found a little alcove in here which has Mm, something to be scanned but and something to scan but we don't have a scanner yet so that is all irrelevant now let's go back and build our <clears throat> our miner and this should be coming in closely you know what i'm actually going to set it over here because there's more room here in this location that means i can put two of them next to each other well while i can't own can only put one at the other point and that's the last of the ingots and the rest is pretty quickly to to get up there and here we have the first mining drill or the next mining drill so at this point we are now mining copper and we are mining iron over at the other location so what's going to happen is uh, we it'll just take a bit of time so what i'm going to do in the meantime i am just going to go gather some materials and then wait for us to have enough hundred of each of those items and here we are we now have more than 100 of the copper and i built two copper smelt uh, copper miners and we have also the iron parts so let's go back and upgrade the terminal put it in here 100 each upgrade repair the terminal oh it didn't do anything but now it says that we need 300 uh, iron ingots and 300 copper ingots so that's a significant more to require an automated facility mining drills and smelters connected by conveyor belts and inserters Belts and inserters have been unlocked in your tech tree automatically, but for smelters you will need to do a little scanning. I've had the production terminal create an analyzer. Pick it up and see if you can find the remains of any smelters nearby. Scan Rex. Unlock tech. It's that simple. Here we are. So yeah, when you... <clears throat> So we see that up in the uh, in the tasks. We now have a scan thing. So if we scan it, ta-da! 
No, that's not a dada about it. You also get scanning some light fragments. Scanning pings will restore them in the tip tree, but you will need cores to activate them. So we got the smelter. You should have enough cores to activate that smelter tech once you restore it. So then we have the smelter tech, and then the question was, didn't we knock down a wall somewhere? And where was that wall? And what did we find? And I've already lost all sense of direction about where we were heading. So uh, maybe it's definitely not here. Uh, but this is also a good place to do a little exploration. So let's go over here and see if the what what, is, what happens here. Field set up for drilling a new shaft, but two things about it don't make any sense. The first problem is that we're at the end of the line. The only thing below here is the core. And this shaft doesn't look like it was cut large enough for freight, which is strange on its own. The second problem is that nobody asked me first. That's a much bigger problem. If it was bad enough that they thought I would report it, it must have either been very wrong or very dangerous. Or both. Excellent. So we um, unlocked some things in the meantime. I also just scanned a bit. We are going to be picking up all of this as we go along so we can kind of get a sense of whether we've been here before. If we've been here, we will have cleaned up all the biomass. That's kind of how I like it. Um, and then we should be able to go back to the other location if we just get the rest of this. It's pretty quick. Also, it's... Some of these passages have caved in. Try hacking your way through any walls that look like they don't belong there. See? Totally worth it for us to uh, to go around and get those kind of things. Uh, we'll chop chop here. Do you think that's enough to get through? Yeah. And let's see if they, we can scan anything in here. And... Or if it's just a little extra room. For some reason these are harder to find. Oh, here. If everything else is right where we left it, my camp might as well be too. If you were part of my crew, you'd probably recognize this place. Procedure was to take a portable habitat module into the field. That wasn't for us. Rip an assembler to make this thing instead. Whatever the smelters needed for the expedition, we found. People leave you alone when you get results. Those were good times. At some point, something else started to matter. It's hazy. I know we were supposed to go home. So we get a bit of a little glimpse into the story of what went wrong in whatever happened before us. And that's uh, basically the who's talking is this cube. Could call it a companion cube that is talking to us and we need to restore her, I guess, to uh, somewhere. Uh, that's kind of disappointing. We didn't get any sort of new... If everything else is oh. Right where we left it, All right, and it's just the same thing. Uh, nothing to scan here, but, you know, we found a, found a place. Anyway, let's uh, look at our tech tree. Oh, that would be nice if, if she could stop talking since we already heard that once. And we are back here. Let's look at the tech tree. Smelter. <clears throat> Should not have clicked on that one. Um, here, you, the, the way that it works, the tech tree, as it seems, is that we have 16 cores. Those are the ones we saw upstairs. And we we do this, we use one of them. And you can see now I can't make a smelter. And that means I can unlock and lock the tech as I want. Long inserter, I can do that. Uh, what else do I have? Nothing else. Nothing else yet. Oh, I also got the uh, lights. At some point, something else started to matter. It's hazy. Let's make a few of these. And then make one smelter. And we're going to make co need copper as well. Go home. Good. You've activated the smelter on the tech tree. Now open up your crafting interface. Build one and place it. Yep, we're gonna be making some smelters for sure. <clears throat> we just need to make them. Uh, let's see, we got some got some disorganization here. 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have belts in number one, inserters in number two. Uh, let's see. Mining drills in three, smelters in four. That's what you're going to do. Yeah, I know, but I'm kind of waiting for it to build. Uh, or is that because I am building inserters first? Yeah, okay, I'm building inserters first. Uh, let's also get a lot of these. Once you have all the other stuff. And then we can build... Uh, did I just? I think I just queued up one, so let's queue up a few more. And we also have lots of these hallways that we can explore in order to find something. Oh, here it was. That was the thing we found before that we couldn't scan. Ta-da! A suit speed. That's uh, just a light. So activate the smelter technology in build one. Let's build one here. So we have the first smelter and uh, we can make it, we can actually allow these to be really close to each other so that they can be a direct insertion or you can make it on a belt and then have three diff in between. And this is very Factorio-esque. The question is, I th or, I'm pretty sure you need more than one of the slow inserters to get it going. And then... Ooh, everything. Nice. And uh, there we go. And when we get another one of these... There. And... One, two, and then I'm also going to do one, two, one. And get some power in here. All right, so that's extremely basic. Get a miner into a smelter, into a belt. Great. And now we'll put that into a box just because, right? Let me see. Do I have a box? No, I don't have boxes, mate. Um, yeah, I do have boxes. There. So let's uh, get those boxes as well. And I will get them. Unfortunately, the way they work is weird. <laughs> I think. Uh, let's see. Yeah, if I do this. Ah. So, here's the thing. This is obviously not going to be fast enough. Because it's only one input. And I'm using way more to output from the side. Oh, look at that. Hold F to go into race mode and erase mode. Okay, so that was weird. Uh, also, it delete this because that's not really a great way to do it. So we're going to have to do it in another way. Uh, let's go here. And then figure out if we can make a box such as this. And then just takes a bit of getting used to this way of making belts. Yeah, uh, was that the right way? No, it was not. There. All right, so I have now two going in and also at this location. Ah, interesting how... There, that's one. And that's another one. And they are outputting on the belt. Great. So we have a first little thing here. And this one can also be used in the same way where I just click E. And then E again to pick up everything. Very nice. We're going to set the same up for the iron just to get the, get the ball rolling on this. So here we've now set it up for the iron as well. And then I've also been messing a bit with trying to set up different heights. It I, I can't imagine that I'm doing it the right way. Because you can see I can build it on top of something else. But I can't... From here I can't build it higher up unless I sort of build it on top. And then build it on top. And then I can then later on remove anything below and I can sort of from this location I can continue but it will then try to go down immediately. Which means if I go down then I have to have something else underneath it in order for it to work. Uh, I don't think that's the intended. But that's, uh, that's just the way that I can figure it out right now. Because if I have this built here, um, if I draw a line, 
I can't see anything where I can go plus or minus to go up or down. Uh, so I don't know. I I don't know. I just didn't want to clip through this. But uh, what we're seeing is also that if I have a merger, then it automatically makes this uh, thing here. This very, looks very much like the stuff from Captain of Industry. So you can see here, it'll go one straight ahead. And if I want to keep it at this height, then I can only make one at a time. Because as soon as I drag it further, then it will go down immediately. Uh, so I think that's kind of, I don't know, a, a way that it maybe self-regulates on how guesses if you want to have it up or down. And then I can bring it in and get a inserter here to sort of have it automatically feed in. We can do the same thing from the copper, maybe. At least we can try to do the same thing for a copper. And then let's go here. It'll probably be even more complicated when... Uh, here and then it automatically makes one of these blocks and then we need to drag it let's get a lot more of these there we go also just get everything in here and then we kind of get to the point 75 conveyor belts. And then that's the only way I, I figure out how to do that. So uh, I'm I'm just hoping and assuming that there is another way that I just haven't figured out. So if you uh, are playing it yourself, you're in the alpha and uh, you've tried it yourself, then uh, by all means, let me uh, let me know how uh, how you're doing this. I guess it kind of always want to be at ground floor unless you can't do that. There we go, and then that should be possible to go from here and in. Right. So let's try to drag this back all the way to the other part. And now that's coming in as well. Now obviously this is not as fast as it could be, but so luckily we can also just go grab some stuff. And here space to grab all everything and space to grab the other part as well oh uh, i do have some legacy thing here uh, what i want to do in the meantime is uh, i want to just run around and see if we can find some new more new recipes somewhere uh, in here or in here for example and then we'll see what we can do while waiting for the rest to accumulate so i found this place unfortunately we can't get in here Repair and upgrade production terminal. Sounds good. All we can do at this location is go up here and just get everything up here. And hopefully we get some kind of research thing that we can also get. Come on, give me some kind of little research thing for the trouble of farming all of this. Otherwise, we will just continue on our exploration journey until we have enough 300 of each. And then take it from there. All right, let's complete it. Not wait for that to come to get it done. And we'll... Oh, no. Well, of course, just 10 off. Uh, that should not be a problem to get that. There we go. That's the 10. And we have everything we want. There we go. Upgrade the terminal. We've upgraded this PT as much as we can. The radio works now, but only for incoming transmissions. And the signal it gives you probably won't be one we can get to with a pickaxe. A mole terrain manipulator should be able to cut through but we still need to find enough fragments of one to unlock the tech. You might want to look around for some echo sketch fragments, too. Never hurts to see where you're going. Task in hand, light city. Portable light source for working localized areas. All right, so uh, that was because we all, now we have the next this is production term Lima, and then we have to go to another one later on for Victor, and you know, later on, more stuff <clears throat> that will be available. So here we can see, we have suit speed, we found that somewhere. <clears throat> if we do that, it'll take six uh, cores, or we have a hover pack, but we don't have that scanned yet, so no luck with that. Mining drill speed would be nice, maybe, who knows. Uh, increase mining speed of all drills, 210, not uh, by 110. Uh, the mole is scanned one of three, and we means we need to find two more. 
synthesis, the assembler, we have not scanned it, planter, thresher, all of those things. Tool belt, and uh, not scanned, not scanned, we have the long inserter, but not the fast inserter. And what do we have here? Energy, don't have those things. Science, there was lights, we got that one. Memory core, we do not have it. Echo sketch, we do not have it, that's the one that they said we should take a look at. <clears throat> but if we look at, we just took the light part, which means we can now start making some lights if we feel like it, and of course we feel like it. There we go. Might as well. Oh, we also have some of these uh, staircases as well. But now that we have upgraded and repaired the terminal, we can now go in here and then see what we have. This is one of our control modules. At least it was. Not ever it was controlling the power line. Not much point to it now. Everything we had was built from pieces of the terminal we came down in. The Excalibur. By the time it got this deep, all the best stuff was gone. We made things work anyway. If my crew left this here, they were headed somewhere they didn't need it. And then we got to scan the Echo Sketch. And the mold manipulation. Right. <clears throat> so we get like small tasks as well. Breaker. Don't forget, you'll need to activate it in your tech tree before attempting to build it. There may be a lot I still can't remember, but the mold is unforgettable. And then expect here. Not much interesting. We got to tech tree and then we now have the mole. We can take that, that's four units. And we can also get terraforming speed, probably not interesting. And the other one was over here, the echo sketch, which we can't do because we don't have eight. So I'm gonna have to deactivate the lights because that costs 10 and then get echo sketch instead. Because that's kind of what we've been asked to do. And that means we now have the echo sketch and let's have a look at the echo sketch thing. Uh, okay, that needs to be produced first. That's under equipment. I'll build one of those and one of those. And where is the echo sketch? It comes here. I will put that in, I don't know, seven. It's not gonna be very relevant to get that. And the other one is the mold thing that is Oh, it's not built yet. There, that'll put, put in three. So what does it do? It kind of uh, just drills holes and stuff. Efficiently. And what does the echo location thingy do? That is F8, there we go. And then we use it and then we have like the world's slowest zoom in and zoom out function. But it is kind of a map. And as long as we have it researched, we also get the uh, the map, I'm just scrolling frantically here and it's not really getting anywhere. Uh, what we can see is that this area we see basically right here. This is the area we've been in. And then you can see that there's really close, there is a gap or, yeah, well, a wall until the next one. So if we go to that location, then we can uh, drill into a new area with the mole. So that is probably what we want to go because now it says build in place five lights. Well, that's, uh, let's do that. So. So we'll get that uh, knocked out, that uh, completed here. It's also nice to have some lights as well. Uh, we can also try figuring out, it must be up here. Up here that we have to drill into the wall. There, that should be one more. There we go. So you build a mole and report to production terminal Victor. That is the next location. Before we go to Victor, I am going to take up everything here that we can from each of these locations because it's nice to bring bring that into the next area as well. And there, get it, get it. Now, I don't think there's anything more of interest here. So let's try to move up and use the mole on some wall over here. Never ah, the to bit more. Ta-da! We are now in a new area. Focus on work and not get caught up in thinking about anything else. I've tried to stay sharp for both of us, 
But now that we're almost back to the main line, I'll admit it, I'm terrified. It's this good to see some friendly faces and a few thousand twinkling lights. I'm sure you've got people there too. There. That'll make it easier to find this thing if we uh, if we need to find it later on. So, we are coming out in a giant new area. The first thing we can do is go to the terminal. Please, service. Let's have a look. And now, this is Terminal Victor that we were supposed to come to. But look at that. Mining drill 70. Conveyor belt 70. So that's not bad. The, con the smelter 70 is a lot. 2,000 inserter. 1,000 processor units. All right. Okay. So that's definitely, uh, even for me, a bit out of handcrafting range. So definitely need to set up some, some things. Right, so what I think is that now we got the introduction area, and this is the area you can also see on the map. It's pretty big. Uh, there is a river down here. And lots and lots of things uh, to scan as well. That means I think this is the area where you can build, and this is the content of the... Uh, early alpha at this stage and may and things will probably be added gradually later so there'll be lots of things uh, we can scan a million billion things here here we can scan here scan more stuff filter and soda nice that's really nice to get a filter and soda Right, so uh, you can also see here, there's more stuff that we can scan. We get more of the memory cores. And a tool belt as well. So you can see that we have actually have just the two of these and that gives us if we go into a tech tree gives us now 18 in total we can now unlock memory core that's probably the best thing to do is unlocking memory cores so we can build more memory cores uh, from here and let's see go to tab and then see production let's make a lot of memory cores why not so we can get started on those things and just get ever more memory cores so we can get more tech because basically we'd want to have all the tech that we have available if we just looked at the stuff we just got uh, synthesis we got the assembler we got the planter and we got the thresher but we can't get the thresher until we have that uh, it, do we have enough no we do not have enough so that's uh, that's basically where we are right now there's a lot of things to explore but i think that it's a great location for us to sort of uh, take a little break before the next one this is also interesting to get this one a hover pack, hover pack, and more stuff. More stuff, more stuff. Electrical components. Uh, yeah. So, uh, if, if you uh, enjoyed this episode, uh, this showcase, very short showcase, of course, uh, then by all means. Uh, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, uh, let me know in the comment section below if there are some things that I am completely missing that uh, if you already have access to the alpha, that you are... Ooh, electric smelter, that's crazy. We must have found some interesting hidden area here, since we got an electric smelter like that. Uh, I think we want to do that. Let's see. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, so uh, that will be uh, that'll be it. So remember... Like, share, and subscribe to get both to tell the good old algorithm and to tell me that this is something you'd like to see more of here on the channel. Uh, I'm also considering live streaming it because some of these kind of uh, building games they sort of work better as live streaming uh, things because it, it there's a, because of the time it takes sometimes to build stuff. There, more of that. So with that, thank you all for joining. Until next time, take care, and as always, stay effective.